Welcome to Sir Wayne's Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa Lecture 06, Reclassification of Fair Value Through Profit or Loss to Amortize Cost. Actually, nasa description ng video lecture na ito yung mismong problem under discussion. Kung gusto mong sagutan ng solo at balikan ang lecture na ito kapag tapos ka na, mas mabuti. Kasi, ang accounting ay natututunan not by mere listening but by you doing the problem solving. Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, simulan na natin. So before we try to solve the problem, ipakita lang muna ulit natin yung reclassification law rule pertaining to this topic. So ang banggit dito, all equity investments cannot be reclassified. Only debt investment can be reclassified. So basically, yung topic talaga natin ng reclassification ng fair value through profit or loss to amortize cost ay pertaining lamang sa debt investments. Kasi balikan nga natin yung rule. Ang banggit dito sa una, equity investment held for trading or measured at FBPL cannot be reclassified by reason of consequential requirement of PFRS 9. So you remember, di ba, kapag kasi nabi na eh, you are held for trading whether you like it or not, FBPL ka lang sa Sabi kapag ka equity investment That's why it cannot be reclassified Consequential Sinabi kasi ng standard Moreover, equity investment measured at BOCI By a revocable election Cannot be reclassified Simply because the election is irrevocable Yun kasi yung pinili mo, di ba? Irrevocable nga Therefore, there will be no reclassification Moreover, kapag ka naman debt investment ang banggit dito, debt investment measure that amortized cost can be reclassified to FBPL or FBOCI. Debt investment measure that FBOCI can be reclassified to FBPL or amortized cost. Debt investment measure that FBPL can be reclassified to FBOCR or amortized cost. So what have we observed? So whether that is classified at amortized cost, at FBOCI or at FBPL, they all can be reclassified. Meron lang ditong isang kakaibang rule, yung nag-iisang bawal sa debt investment. However, debt investment measured at FBPL by irrevocable election cannot be reclassified simply because the election is irrevocable. Diba? Kasi nga, sabi mo, irrevocable yung pagpili. Therefore, it cannot be reclassified because your election is irrevocable. Sabi mo kasi FBPL, therefore, hindi pwedeng maiba kasi irrevocable nga yung election. Pero hindi lahat ng FBPL can be uh, choose, chosen because of irrevocable election. Sometimes by default. Diba? Some, yun, mga ganun bang klaseng uh, senaryo Okay, so right now, we try to answer this problem Kasi diba, baka isipin ng iba Sir, if BPL yan, akala ko bawal na reclassify Pwede, ang bawal lang If that is FBPL na debt investment Through irrevocable election In this case, hindi naman Okay, para mas ma-appreciate Sagutan natin yung problem Okay, basahin muna natin On January 1, 2025 Giselle Company purchased 9% bonds with a face amount of 6 million. The bond matured on January 1, 2030 and were purchased for 5,550,000 to yield 11%. The entity classified the bonds as held for trading and interest is payable annually every December 31. The entity provided the following information about the fair value of the bonds and the effective rate. So, nandito yung fair value and effective rate for 2025 and 2026. Moreover, on December 31, 2026, the entity changed the business model for this investment to collect contractors, contractual cash flow composed of principal and interest. So, nagbago sila. On January 1, 2027, the fair value of the bonds did not change. So, what is the requirement? Prepare journal entries for 2025, 2026, and 2027. Okay? Magsagot na po tayo. Magsimula tayo sa 2025. Nung January 1, nung moment na binili niya yung bonds. So, sulat natin dito. January 1, 2025. Okay? Ano ba ang classification nito? Sabi, it is held for trading. Therefore, this will be FBPL. So, therefore, we debit FBPL. Okay? And that is measured at fair value. On that date, the fair value is 5,550,000 while its face is 6 million. So, we don't care about the face because we measured FBPL at fair value. Okay? 5,550,000. And we credit cash for 5,550,000. Okay? Since that is debt investment, pagdating ng December 31, 2025, there will be collection of interest. So, therefore, we are going to debit cash and credit interest income. Di ba gaganon yun? So, how much is that? The interest income 
Okay? Or the interest collection is always based on the face amount. So therefore, that will be 6 million multiplied by the nominal rate. Not the yield rate of 11%, but rather the nominal rate of 9%. Okay? So how much now will be our interest? Therefore, 6 million times 0 0.09 we will get 540,000. So again, we debit cash for 540,000 and interest income for 540,000. That's sim that's how simple it is ng 2025, okay? Tapos, tumuli pa tayo na bago ba ang market value ng 2025? Yes, kasi ang sabi dito, the fair value now is 5,450,000. So dating 5,550,000 naging 5,450,000. Therefore, there is a decline of 100,000 okay? That will be recorded as unrealized loss So, we debit unrealized loss Okay Okay, FBPL And credit FBPL Okay, mali tayo FBPL Okay, amounting to 100,000 Yung decline dun sa value because it is measured nga at fair value So every end of the year We remeasure at dapat Magko-confirm tayo sa kung ano man Ang kanyang fair value As to the effective rate, wala tayong pakialam dyan Because FBPL nga tayo o, Tumuli pa po tayo Noong 2026, they changed their business model Pero ang sabi sa rule Sa reclassification Ang effect nga, kahit ano pa mang date Sila mag-isip na magpapalit ng, ng Business model, the effect will be the following year So in short Okay, ngayong 2026, the business model that we are going to use is still FBPL. Okay, gawin na lang po natin para ma-appreciate. Pagdating ng December 31, 2026, there will be again interest collection. So we are going to debit cash and credit interest income for the same amount, 540 thousand. Okay, kasi nga, syempre, bonds kasi yan, lagi tayo nangungulikta ng interest. Moreover, magre-realize ulit tayo ng fair value changes Kasi nga, FBPL pa rin siya Yung reclassification will take effect next year So, 6,150,000 Yung bagong value Okay? Ayan At ang dating value is 5,450,000 I believe there will be an increase of 700,000 So, the entry now would be Debit FBPL Yan na naman tayo FBPL And credit unrealized gain Ayan Okay, FBPL FBPL amounting to 700,000 yung kwenta natin kanina Okay, kasi nga tumaas ang kanyang value Ayan, so I believe that will be the entry for 2026 oh, Let's move on Nung 2027, dun pa lang magta-take effect yung changing, change, changes in business model. So, dun pa lang mag-a-apply itong ating topic, itong sinasagutan natin, that FBPL going to amortize cost. So, how are we going to do that? We are going to recognize the amortize cost represented by the account title, investment in bonds. And we are going to credit the FBPL Kasi nga, we are going to recognize that Dahil hindi naman talaga siya na FBPL But rather, amortize cost na ang gagamitin natin So what is the rule? Whatever the fair value on the date of reclassification Will be the carrying amount of the amortize cost investment On that date of reclassification Anong ibig sabihin nun? So ang fair value nung time na mag-reclassify ka Is 6,150,000 So yan yung mawawala sa FBPL So therefore, we are going to credit Credit that. And then, ang sabi nga natin kanina, kung ano yung kanyang fair value, yun yung magiging carrying amount nung amortized cost. That's why we are going to debit 6,150,000, okay? As the carrying amount of investment in bond. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin sa amortization. Oh, let's move on. Tumuli tayo. Pagdating ng December 31, 2027, dahil nga po ito ay ano, uh, debt investment, meron pa rin tayong collection of interest. That's why we are still going to debit cash. And we still credit interest income Okay Amounting to 540,000 So napansin natin Lagi po tayo may 540,000 na collection Based on the face amount Multiply by the, the nominal rate Okay But then may kakaiba na May bago na Since, since ito nga ay amortized cost We are going to amortize the bonds We will now compute for the interest Okay The correct interest The effective interest So atin pong uh, lagyan ng computation the effective interest okay, will be based on the carrying amount of 6,150,000 and it will be multiplied to 
the effective rate of an 8%. So, we multiply it by 8%. Okay? So, 6,150,000 times 0 0.08. Yan. That will be 492,000. Okay? Well, the nominal rate or the nominal interest, computed na nga kanina, yung 6 million times 9%, yung nasa taas kanina, 6 million times 9%, Ang value nun is 540,000. So actually, there is a decline in interest kasi ito naman talaga yung tamang interest for 92,000 kasi 8% lang talaga yung kanyang effective rate. So therefore, this is this will be our amortization. The amortization would be okay, 492,000 minus 540,000. Ayan. So 48,000 in this problem. Magkakaroon po tayo ng entry dyan. We are going to debit interest income. Okay, same date po yan ano. So, ito yung computation. Ipinakita lang natin sa taas. So, we debit interest income. Okay? Amounting to 48,000. And we are going to credit investment in bonds. Kasi nga, noong 2027, siya ay na-reclassify na into amortized cost investment. So, napansin po natin, again, nabawasan yung interest income kasi ang totoong interest talaga ay 492,000, hindi na po 540,000. ba? Nabawasan siya. At ina-amortize natin siya kasi when we say amortization, we want to go to its face value. ba? Ang kanyang carrying amount this time is 6,150,000. Eh, ang kanyang face value ay 6 million. So in short, pababa po tayo. Kaya that, that's why we credit the investment in bonds for 48,000. It's amortization for 2027. Okay? So I believe na highlight na po natin yung reclassification from FBPL kung saan habang siya FBPL pa rin normal lang. At yung kanyang pagre-reclassify na mangyayari the following year. Okay? At kapag kasi na-reclassify na, simple lang naman yun, you will apply the accounting rule for the uh, business model that it is reclassified. Let's say sa amortized cost. That's why we ignore the fair value and we amortize every end of the year. But as to cash collection, lagi pa rin namang may ganon. May interest collection pa rin dahil nga ito nga ay debt investment. So yun lamang at maraming salamat.